Um, <laughs> I, I really don't know how to start this. I really don't. Um, there's there's rumours going around that Truss, at any point today, could issue the EU a basic threat that if they don't essentially give in to the British demands to, quote, make the protocol work, which is absolutely ridiculous because every moment and facet you actually look at it, the Northern Ireland Protocol works. And I wish, I wish for the love of God that journalists would start asking questions of Liz Truss and whoever else says that, oh, the Northern Ireland Protocol isn't working. Well, what do you mean by that? Every single visible metric, the protocol is working. Goods are flowing. Businesses are, you know, businessing, <laughs> you know. Um, what just what do you mean when you say the protocol isn't working? Of course, we know why they want to get rid of the protocol. It's because when you compare Northern Ireland to the rest of the UK, business-wise and economy-wise, they're doing fine compared to the rest of the UK. That's why they're so desperate to get rid of parts of the protocol because they are desperate to get rid of them because they do not want to see, oh, actually staying in the single market and customs union actually sort of works. You know, there's... Uh, there are, there are real serious problems this is going to create, real serious problems. And the first one is, what's the EU going to do? So today we're going to go over this piece because I, I think it's worth refreshing people's minds and informing people this is potentially what is going to happen if we decide to, shall we say, suspend the Northern Ireland Protocol. What's the EU's response going to be? Because obviously the EU is going to respond. And most of it is going to be ripping up parts of the withdrawal agreement, which is going to cause huge problems for us, kickstarting a potential trade war, which we will not win at a time where we should not be doing this, when we need to be more united than ever around, you know, uh, focusing on the threat that Russia is posing to places like Ukraine and other places. You know, in Eastern Europe, Finland, etc., why they're joining NATO. You know, this is not the time to be doing this. It is not the time to be doing this at all. The Northern Ireland Protocol is working, despite the claims of whatever people like Liz Truss or the DUP want, want whatever they want to make. It is working. They just need to start be questioned to ask how is this protocol not working because everything we are seeing says that it is working. So let's go diving into this then. But before we do that, please do remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there are links to my Patreon page and our optimization link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can well buy me coffee. And as always, um, thank you very much to all those people who do help support the channel. And of course, there are the YouTube subscription uh, link down below as well and the new YouTube thank you page, although it won't be new for too much longer, I suspect. But um, as always, uh, thank you very much to all those people who help support the channel. Let's go diving into this. So this comes from iNews with the title of how a trade war with the EU could play out if the UK suspends the Northern Ireland Protocol. Somewhere locked away in a drawer in Brussels is a document setting out the retaliatory action the EU could take if the UK were to unilaterally tear up parts of the Northern Ireland Protocol. And that's the key point, unilaterally. We are doing this, not the EU, because the EU will say, well, what's wrong with the protocol? It, it's working. And it's, it's us that are deciding, well, we're not going to do this. And remember, according to Boris Johnson and the rest of the Brexiteers, Literally almost a year ago now, they were saying how wonderful and fantastic this protocol was when it was first introduced. Remember, the, the idea that Theresa May had was the one that they rubbished and would uh, uh, again solve this, this, this idea. But there you go. Anyway, 
Let's continue. So here's what could happen. First big one, trade war. The EU is first likely to launch very lengthy legal processes that could result in the UK being fined. But these are quite slow, so the UK government might not see that as a major threat. And according to Jess Sargent, the senior researcher at the Institute for the Government, the nuclear option would be the EU to terminate the trade deal with the UK and imposing on bra tariffs on British exports to the continent, Ms. Sargent said. Amanda Menton, the director of the UK in a changing Europe think tank, suggested that Brussels may even trigger measures to hurt the Conservative Red Wall marginal constituencies, forcing their MPs to pressure Boris Johnson to back down. Mr Marlon said, told the eye this, the nearest parallel is what they did in retaliatory sanctions to the US under Trump. They imposed tariffs on goods that were coming from Republican-held states in a targeted manner. My guess is that, in it's a guess, is that they are probably some red wall Tory held marginals that expect stuff to the EU that they will just slap tariffs on those and they will get those MPs to say, hang on a sec, you're weakening our local economy. He added, they will do it to cause maximum political as well as economic pain. The imposition of tariffs could very well be imposed quite quickly, and between a nine to 12 months, said Miss Sargent, uh, said, sorry, yeah, Miss Sargent said. That is a more immediate threat, but it is the most extreme response, she added. The EU could also ramp up checks on the border to snarl up the channel traffic. Even if the UK does not respond with its own tariffs and checks, there could also be a shortage and even price rises here in the UK. This could very well become very polit politically unpalpable, especially at a time of rampant inflation and a cost of living price cr crisis and even a potential recession. So as you can see, any trade war, we immediately lose. We cannot win in this situation. And to say doing it now, when we are facing all these, the, the cost of living crisis, the energy crisis, the inflation it in instantly we lose and it is purely because we have taken the political decision to remove the northern Ireland protocol when everyone says even the us again a medium a, a neutral third party even says the northern Ireland protocol is working what on earth are you doing there was a letter sent by congress uh to congressmen two is it two days ago now yeah two days ago now i, I put it up on my um my by uh, the youtube um social feature you you'll see it but even they're like what are you doing why are you doing this 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 is working what are you doing you know it doesn't make sense mr malton also said i just wonder about the optics of things getting tougher at a time when they are already tough because of the political decisions taken over northern ireland and whether that is really a vote winner the next big thing would be to exclude the UK from more EU programs. We're already about a lot of the EU programs. We aren't in a lot already. Brussels has already blocked the UK from its flagship Horizon Research program because it does not trust the government due to its action over the protocol. What a surprise. And it could also take similar steps in other areas, such as the example of data adequacy that could also harm the UK. Next, of course, U.S. relations. U.S. relations are going to take a massive hit because, trust me, America is going to retaliate very quickly and we can say goodbye to whatever U.K.-U.S. trade deal we were going to have. Joe Biden's administration has been clear. It wants to a, negotiate a protocol settlement and could even pull further away from the post-U.K.-U.S. trade deal if the government acts unilaterally. The UK is also trying to work to get America to lift tariffs on steel, which may be rejected by Washington. And the finally big, and this is the big one, the Good Friday Agreement. So the protocol is hated by unionists, but in the Northern Ireland's assembly elections last week, most people voted for parties that support the deal, Miss Sargent said. If the UK rips it up, she said, 
we are going to see a very strong reaction from the nationalist parties like the alliance parties, which is now doing pretty well, which I think weakened the UK's government claim that it is doing this for peace and stability in Northern Ireland. Again, the idea that it is doing it for, quote, peace and stability doesn't make sense because the only people inflaming these intentions are the Conservatives, are the DUP, who are just going around saying Northern Ireland Protocol is not working. Please, journalists, start asking them, why is the Northern Ireland Protocol not working? Get that across to them and start getting that across and out to the people. They have no clue what they're on about. They just want to get rid of it for reasons because, well, reasons. And ultimately, at a time now where we are seeing, again, this threat of a very resurgent Russia, a lot of people put it quite bluntly. If this happens, if Liz Truss goes through this, then this is an absolute gift to Vladimir Putin at this moment in time. And that should not be allowed to happen. Um, and I think you could, if this does happen... We should start a a, 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 a like a propaganda campaign calling Liz a a, a Putin stooge or a, a Putin enabler. Um, I think that would be a very effective campaign. In fact, I think we, this is something we should start now calling Liz, calling you know, yeah, you know, Liz Moscow Trust. Or, you know, uh, I, I think that would be quite a, a good tactic to start doing, to be honest. But yeah, so that's what could potentially happen, and none of this is going to be good. The EU, it's not really going to affect them. But if they start to do targeting tariffs, targeting like those red wall marginal seats, that could be very interesting because that did a lot of damage to Trump, uh, especially during the Trump years. So if they start to do that, that could be very, very damaging to the Conservatives and cause them even more harm. And to be honest, it's not so much the red walls seats they also want to be targeting. It's also those businesses in the in the blue wall down south. Target those as well. That will really set the cat amongst the pigeons then. But as always, uh, thank you very much uh, for watching. Please do remember to hit that like, share and subscribe button. And of course, down below, there is a link to my uh, Patreon page and a notification link called Buy Me Coffee, where you can all buy me coffee. And of course, there's the YouTube subscription button and of course, the uh, YouTube thank you button as well. So as always, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you all next time.